Hey everyone, I'm Jared Bronstein. And I'm Charlotte Dobre. Have you guys ever wondered what happens to you when you die? I know I have. Every single day. Also stick around until the end of the video, we got some comments and an announcement. <gasps> Announcements. Well, it seems researchers aren't 100% sure about what exactly goes down when you die, but new studies show that we might actually have brain activity for up to 10 minutes. Gee willy, a whole 10 minutes you said? But why would that be? Well, Jared, a study at the University of Western Ontario conducted by Canadian doctors in the intensive care unit have discovered that a person's brain can continue working even after they're pronounced clinically dead. This means they have no heartbeat, but their brain is still somehow working. Your heart pumps blood and oxygen to your brain, which helps it function. When your heart stops, it stops oxygen and blood from getting to the brain. So when doctors discovered the brain still had function, for up to 10 minutes after the patient's heart stopped, they were shocked. Could it be zombies? Zombies? Probably not. The testing showed the brain had the same kind of brain waves after death as it does when you are in a very deep sleep. And because of this new discovery, doctors and medical workers could find new medical and ethical challenges. How do we know when someone is really dead? This could lead to problems with organ donors. For example, when would it be appropriate to remove the organs? If someone still has brain activity for a whole 10 minutes after they die, are they technically still alive? Aside from this, the docs reported seeing I quote single delta wave bursts in the brain of a patient after the cessation of cardiac rhythm and artery arterial blood pressure, meaning the brain had some function. Neato! But get this though, only one out of four people had brain activity for an extended period of time. Most of the patients lost all brain activity before their heart stopped beating, which is what was originally believed to happen in all cases. But all the brains had different levels of functionality and behavior in the minutes after they died. And it seems the doctors as of now don't understand why one of the brains had activity going on for so long after they were clinically pronounced dead. So it seems doctors have got a lot more researching to do. This is pretty cool though, I mean we might be able to discuss discover things about the brain we never knew were possible. Who knows what this study could lead us to. So are you saying that just maybe when we die our brains could possibly turn into like an infected brain and like maybe we'll become zombies or? I think you've been watching too much of The Walking Dead, Jared. I think you're wrong. You can never have too much of coral. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna be reading out some comments now. In the video we did about a CNN reporter eating human brains on TV, Jack the Gamer said, Silly CNN, eating brains does not make you smarter. <laughs> Shots fired. Yeah, you're totally right, though. That actually was funny. That I was, was very funny. tired, so I'm not laughing. It's so really funny. funny. Yeah. Gibbet Hoskins said, What's wrong with eating your own shit and throwing it at people? People are so sensitive these days. I know, I do that all the time. I do that to you all every the time. Day. We're yeah. like, we just, we hang from like the microphone stand here and we just throw each other at each other. <laughs> like monkeys, get it? Soda Pop Bottle said, LOL, it's friendship, best response. Cause sometimes it's like, there's something between us. And I said, yeah, it's right here, it's called yeah, friendship. This is friendship. Ow, my ear, ow, ow. Joss Negretti said, IO, change your background to be a potato. Editors, do you guys mind doing that? Okay, ready, one, two. Oh, I was gonna snap. Hey look, it's a potato. And now, a special announcement. Jared? Uh, don't do this to me. All right guys, so got some kind of sad news, but it doesn't have to be sad. Unfortunately, I'm leaving the channel, but I might come back every now and then. You guys connect with me on my personal YouTube channel, Jared Bronstein, or on social media, at Bron7. I'm gonna miss you guys, I love you guys, but this will not be the last time you see me. I'm gonna pop in every now and then, but unfortunately, I won't be around all the time. And be nice to the new host, because, you know, being new, it's hard to fill someone else's shoes, and I had to fill some pretty big shoes, so hopefully, the transition won't be as bad for you guys, but just be nice, because I'm sure the new host will be great. We miss you, Jared. I'll miss you guys, too. Mm. Uh. Bye.